ليكن يومك للشعب ودادا ليكن حبك للارض مدا للارض مدا The Prophet said, why I'm mentioning those things, why people get married? He said, people get into marriage for four things, because of wealth, because of her nobility, because of her beauty, and because of her deen. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My dear listener, the topic of our sermon today is um, towards a blissful marriage. You will agree with me that many marriages are suffering today because some fundamentals are not in place. As Muslims, we need to understand some basic things about marriage so that it can work. That your marriage is not working, you need to put some things in place. And if it's not working, then you should work towards your children's marriage working. The first thing I want to talk today about is um, some of us will seem to lack the understanding of um, the essence of marriage itself. People go into marriage today, maybe because of the parental or behind pressure. Oh, your mates are married, you must be married too. Oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. We fail to realize that marriage itself is an aspect of religion. In Surah Al-Rum, Allah says in Ayati, "An khalaka lakum min anfusukum azwajan." Among the signs of Allah is that He has created for you among yourself mates, letaskunu ilayya, so that you can find solace in them. Wajala bina kum ma wadatan wa rahma, and He has placed therein in between you love and compassion. That means that marriage is not just for fun; it's an aspect of deen. And Prophet said. Whoever has married has completed 50% of his religion. Whatever will give you 50% of any exam is a pass mark. It's not a joke. So when you want to do it, your consideration should not be just mundane things. It has to be, yeah, it has to have an element of spiritualism in it. The Prophet said, why mentioning those things? Why people get married? He said, le arba. People get into marriage for four things, لِمَالِهَا because of wealth, وَلِحَسَبِهَا because of her nobility, وَلِجَمَالِهَا because of her beauty, وَلِدِينِهَا and because of her deen. Far, far be that deen, but he recommended that deen because that would make the marriage so blissful. So when you are going into marriage, you should know that you are going into a religion and you must be very ready to sacrifice all you can to make it work. Today, most parents are raising children. They do not even think that those children will now tomorrow go into marriage. Raising lady, um, uh, baby girl that cannot even do anything at home. She cannot wash, she cannot cook. Or you raising boys that will just cross leg and be waiting for food to come to them, not thinking that they must have awesome to, uh, contribution that they will pro pro provide tomorrow to make them a responsible man. So we need to work on this, thinking that tomorrow these children will get out of our hand and stand on their own. Another thing we need to also to marry, to, 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 need to manage in marriage is um, what I realize, I call it unrealistic um, expectations. Many young men today, they set goals that are not attainable anywhere. Oh, I want my man to be like this, to be tall, to be this, to be rich, and he must have everything. You should be generous. I want my wife to be this, to be that. And all those things that they see in movies, they want to make it a reality. Uh, I think so. Even those actors don't have that. So they should know that there is no perfect marriage anywhere. But Allah said, Jalil Nabal Dokun, the body fit not under his balloon. Some of us are make trials for others. We just have to be patient. So we assume a lot. We assume a lot. We assume that things are just are working the way they're supposed to work. And sometimes they're not. We need to realize that um, uh, we need to train our children. We give them premarital counseling. Some of them don't know that um, the house of their father is different from the house of their husband. Yes, there may be conflict. 
but how do we manage it? All these are there in the Sharia of Allah. So we shouldn't base our marriage on fake premises. Because today people hide, people they tell lies on so many things. Many marriages are based on fake premises. And that's why they're not, they're not working. I don't know how far a man can hide from his wife. So we need to look at all those social factors are also there. Third party interference. Some mother-in-laws, father-in-laws, brother-in-laws, they interfere in marriages, trying to make the couple be like the way they are. And all these are not part of what we are supposed to do as parents. So what I would recommend is that apart from knowing that marriages are part of religion, we also need to learn because there's no school that will train you into that. You learn by practice. But by the time you put it on the foundation of Allah and the Prophet, you know that uh, you have started very well. And above all, communicate very well. Talk to one another. When you do that, you are on your way of having your marriage. And finally, pray together. We pray Allah to mend all those marriages that are wobbling. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs>